recognize that some people are taking a deeper risk today than others. If you're white, you're, you're living with privilege, white skin privilege. Thank you for coming out today because a lot of people stayed home. A lot of us think, oh, they, they didn't show up, they're canceled. I don't have to do anything today. That ain't right. But we recognize the importance of being here for our brothers and sisters of color because we understand the liberation struggle. And we recognize the folks of color who are here today, the courage that it takes to stand up against white supremacy under these specific conditions today. We got your back too. We're all in this together. And now we want to bring up a brother who talks about the role of white people in this struggle. Because this is a struggle for all of us. And it's not just about saying, oh, that white supremacy is a bunch of skinheads and Nazis and racist white supremacists and Klan's folk. White supremacy is everywhere. It's in our schools. It's in our hospitals. It's in our government. It's in our banks. It's everywhere. And it's our job as white folks to read that out of our, all of our society and it's our responsibility to do that, and it's our role to look at it and how we pri are privileged by it as well. So I want to bring up a Bay Area poet, uh, playwright, and educator, Ariel Lucky. <laughs> 